Hello everyone, Ninten110 here, and as you can tell from what Conan here is holding in his mouth, this is probably going to be a video about PDAs. Yep, today I'll be showing you our little collection of PDAs. Um, currently we don't have a whole bunch of them, but just enough to show on camera, I believe, within less than like 20 minutes, because my phone doesn't like to record videos longer than 20 minutes. Anyway, let's see. This is the Palm 3X. This model is from 1999. Uh, the sound and the buttons on it work. For some reason we can't get the screen to work. It has a lot of rust from battery corrosion that it had. And some of that kind of got to the board, so... I feel like it's definitely fixable though. Just gonna have to work on it. Pretty nice model. Um, not one of the really expensive feeling ones. I mean, it feels super plasticky. But these probably were a lot more durable. And unless you let batteries corrode in them, they would have lasted a lot longer actually than the models with the uh, rechargeable batteries, which, you know, kind of have a non infinite lifespan. And next we've got here the beautiful Palm VX. This one reminds me of the uh, ERS-110 and ERS-111 IBO with how it's like kind of blocky but kind of curved. Kind of like a beautiful mix of the two. This one does power on and work. I cannot show it on video because it has to be on the charger to power on. When I first got it, it worked really nicely. Um, I got it brand new in the box at a local thrift store. It was basically only about 50 bucks. Um, not even sure why they were selling it for so cheap, but of course the battery in it at the time would charge and actually would hold a charge off the charger, and now it basically only powers on if it's on the charger. So I'm gonna have to see what I can do about getting a new battery for it. These models are not in particular easy to get the battery out of. Uh, they're pretty much glued together, but it's possible. It's always possible. And while we're talking about the nicer, more expensive palms, I've got a tungsten here, uh, E2. These were really nice. Um, I don't remember if these currently work or not. I think we had to take the batteries out of all three because they were puffy batteries, if you know what I mean. But those can be replaced easily because this model actually has screws, as you can see. So it is not glued together, which is actually great. Uh, the previous model I showed was another 1999 model, that being the VX. This one... I'm trying to remember if the Tungsten E2 came out in like, 03. The only problem with the Palms is, of course, they don't have the year written on the back anywhere, so it's a guesstimation. But this one, almost positive, it was like 03 or 04. And I have not one, not two, but three of this model. I really like them. They're really nice. And yeah, I realized I gave it away earlier when I said I had to take the battery out of all three of them. So yeah. Nice job. And next we have a HP PDA. This one is known as the app, the, excuse me, IPAC. I-P-A-Q. It's actually known as the IPAC 110, which I find very interesting. Of course, just like every PDA. It has the little stylus that comes out. Um, the only unfortunate problem with this one, of course, this is another case of had to take the battery out because it was inflated, because it seems like that always happens in these kind of things. And also, this one has the absolutely worst case I've ever seen of the disintegrating rubber that just gets so sticky and gets worse as you continue to touch it. It's, it's horrible. Like, really, really, really horrible. I believe this model was from the mid-2000s, maybe even closer to the later 2000s. It does have a color display. I have gotten it to power on once or twice before. It's pretty nice, actually. But most of these that I'm showing are nice models, besides a few. And you'll see those later on in the video. Now we come over to the Sonys. Uh, let's see. I usually do these in order of age. I don't know which of these two that I have is older. I think this one's older. We've got... In a tungsten case, for whatever reason, we have this 
beautiful little Klee right here. This one I have not powered on. We got it from Goodwill actually, and it had a, once again, case of the inflated battery. It does have a camera. Reads Memory Sticks and Memory Sticks Pro, I believe. Let's see, doesn't it read Pro? Anyways, this is the PEG TJ27. Very beautiful little device, and I hope I can get it up and running at some point. I don't believe this one has a color display or anything like that, though. But it was really nice for its time. And trying to find the stylus of it. This one I haven't explored around much with. Okay, the stylus is missing. As you can see. Nice. And last in the Sony range, we have another Klee. This one I believe is a little newer. I think this is like the 05 or 06 model, but I could be wrong. Someone's put this nice little strap on it. Love it. This is the PEG SL10 slash U. Um, actually takes regular batteries, not rechargeable, thankfully. It does have some corrosion, as you can see, with how it's kind of ruined the paint, but this one does work. This is basically the model that I've used for, of course, with the Ibo robot dogs, the uh, second generation and above requires um, their memory sticks to be reprogrammed with this before you can truly do anything with them, so this is the one that I use for that. haven't used it a bunch of times, but it does good for what it's supposed to do, and it's pretty nice. And this one does read Memory Stick and, I believe, Memory Stick Pro, as one would expect from you know, one of these. But yeah. And now that we've covered the really nice ones, we get to the lower end. This is a Ultronic, and it, its main feature here is touchscreen, apparently. Um, this is another Goodwill find, of course. Everything's a Goodwill find, basically. Not everything, but this is the TS220, totally not related to the ERS220. Those have, of course, a removable battery, basically just takes one little, you know, 3 volt battery does have a stylus, which is how you know it was trying to cash in on the Palm Pilot. And of course this doesn't have any of the features the Palm Pilot has. It's basically just... It, it pretty much takes the organizer part seriously. It's basically just an organizer. That's it. But, I mean, on a budget it does good for what it does, you know? Not too bad. And then, not to be confused with Rolex, we have Rolodex. Electronics. I believe these were given for free with magazine subscriptions, or at least some similar to them were. I don't know about this particular model. And if I could ever get it open. This one does currently have batteries in it. Um, we kind of keep it around because it beeps every hour, so we know, you know, what hour it currently is. This is the model RF8003, I think that is. Yes, it's from 2001. Franklin Electronic Publishers, not actually Rolodex, but whatever. And we see here it has some gibberish, which is really nice looking on video. Not really much can go on with it. Don't know what's going on with it. But anyway, yeah, that's that's when cheaper companies tried to cash in on the Palm Pilot. They got the organizer part down, but the rest they kind of, you know, weren't really capable of doing. But if you just need it as an organizer, it does the job. At least when the screen's not all gobbledygook. And then last but not least, we have this uh, beautiful Palm V here. Um, we know it's a Palm V because it says definitely Palm V on the screen. Even though it says text slate up there, I'm not really sure what that's all about. Um, see, it's got the charging port down here. It's got the, uh, the Jaru brand name. I mean, see, and side by side, uh, it actually looks, you know, exactly like a regular one, so I mean, that's definitely what it is. That's absolutely, see, that I mean, it's the same shape and everything. Even at the bottom, kind of curves out a bit. Um, you know, it has on the back everything exactly the same. Even has that little indention up here, as you can see. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is just a rare pink color variant of it. Um, I mean, it even has the stylus, for goodness sake, that pops out exactly like the real thing. I mean, exactly like spitting image, exactly like the real thing. 
I mean, even the styluses match up, you know, pretty well. Um, haven't tried charging this one yet, but it seems you can use some features, of course, without the charging, which is really nice um, that it has no battery, you know. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna stop playing around. Yeah, that's that's a, that's from the dollar store. Okay. Anyways, back to the real thing. Wait, I've already shown this one. Alright, anyways, have a nice day, guys, and we'll see you again over on Nintendo 110. And say hi to Conan.